Hey guys, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can create dictionaries. But before that, first of all, why do you need dictionaries? So here I have a situation for you. So think like uh, you are working in a department, maybe a products department where you want to rank the product based on their sales. So maybe what you have come up with these different rankings, one, two, three, and five, four, five and then for these different products into two separate list so that you can easily manage that but now the problem is that uh, if you want to say what is a pro ranking for the product g then you have to search it in here either manually or by using the index so how you can do that so for example first of all we need to identify the index for the product so what i'll do is i will say product I'll first execute that and then I will say product dot index and I want the index of the element G or the product G. So the index is 6. Now if I want to identify the rank of product 6, I will pass on this information and I got to know that the rank is 7, right? This one. Alternatively, what you can do is within the rank you can specify product.index and g then also you will get the same results it's just that this expression we have specified over here but this is not a very efficient way of uh, of basically uh, you know accessing the data so to do it in a much better way what we have got is the uh, dictionaries so what i'll do is i will call it rank underscore products to create a dictionary and dictionary always uh, you know have a surrounding curly braces and it has a key and value so key colon value right that's kind of a syntax i'm showing you so key one value one comma key two colon value two so so on and so forth you will have n number of multiple values so in this case our key is this product a one so value is one product b the value is two c the value is three right so we'll specify that so i will just remove this first of all and then i will just paste the information for few products so here i have product a one ranking product b two ranking c d e similarly we can go ahead for others also but just for an example i'm showing you a little less products okay so here i have the rank product so my list is created what i can do i can identify the type of rank underscore products and you will see it is a type of dict which is dictionary now if i want i can very easily say rank underscore products and now i want to search for any products let's say for example you have even thousands of products there in the dictionary then you can very easily get its respective value by specifying the key so to specify the key we'll press we'll just enter this a and shift enter it will give me one similarly if i want let's say for product e i will get the ranking so this is much efficient clear and a better way of uh, uh, you know accessing the data so this only this does not uh, end here only because uh, there are n number of usage of your uh, dictionaries within the python programming so we will see in future videos about uh, how we are efficiently using the code with the help of dictionaries and getting the good output but in this video mainly i wanted to show you how you can create and then access the list based on uh, specifying the keys uh, before I end, I can also show you a couple of things like uh, rank underscore product. It has some associated methods. So if I press dot and you will find a lot of uh, methods like clear, copy, from keys. So one thing I want to show you is keys so that you can get all the keys. So keys are A, B, C, D. So if I enter, it will give me the dictionary keys. Similarly, if I want, I can get the values as well so values is one two three four for may maybe for some of the processing or information need if you need you have the option of identifying what are all the keys which are present and what are all the um, values which are present